All right, guys, welcome to Overshot, uh, Paintball Podcast. We're doing a really special um, interview this time. We're on site at Cousins Bigfoot Game. We're out here slaying it. Uh, but before we get started with our guest, I got to tell you about Dizana Sports. They made the jersey I'm wearing right here. Uh, they're also makers of the SF Joggers and the Grindair Gloves. You go to DizanaSports.com, use code, o- uh, code Overshot. You'll get 10% off your entire order, not just one item. You'll get 10% off everything, so definitely go check it out. And our new partnership, which we're super happy, we just announced them on the last episode, is Volcano. USA. You go there, they make bags, they make backpacks, um, and they're, they're really new to the scene. They're just kind of starting up. They really, actually, their t-shirt game is on fire. They got some really fresh like merch. And uh, same thing, if you go to Volcano.com, you, uh, dot, VolcanoUSA.com, and use code OVERSHOT10, you'll get 10% off your entire order. But uh, now that that is over, I'm super glad to welcome Luke on the show. Um, Thank you for having me. Yeah, man, dude. Thanks for coming on. Really appreciate it. So, I really want to get to your photo- your um your photography because I know that's something you're trying to promote and you're kind of new in the paintball game. You really oh, want to yeah. get your name out there. So, tell everyone what it's called, where they can find it, maybe how what drove you to kind of shoot paintball. All right. Uh, well, my name's Luke. Everybody, hi. Thank you for having me again. Uh, my uh, photography page is Killaby Photography on pa- Facebook. I am also at Killaby94 on Instagram. And I used to do photography back in the day when I was a teenager, and it was a huge hobby of mine. I entered my shit into a couple, couple galleries and uh, got some stuff going, but I fell off it. And then once I got back into paintball a couple years ago, especially this year, I mm-hmm. saw like how prevalent it was and how much people wanted photographers and wanted cool shots and people that would get right in the middle of it. There's no money. Paintball, so you might as well have some cool pictures if you're doing yeah. cool stuff, man. Oh, yeah. It, that way I get to go to an event, shoot, play, you know, pays for itself. Right. But I started back up, and I'm like, you know, I need I need to do something else. Like, I love paintball, but I need I need something else. And right. I was able to combine one of my oldest hobbies, and so far it's honestly been going great. I've gotten a lot of shout-outs from people. I've been gaining a lot of traction, and it's just, I met so many cool people that have been, like, taking me under their wing and teaching me all kinds of things I never knew before. Dude, that's awesome that the community is being so welcoming because we we need more paintball photographers. It's not a lot of couple guys or some big wig guys, but like, I love people starting their own stuff. Like, I love when someone's getting new into the game because the game's been like stagnant a little bit. Like, little I've, bit. I've been playing for a little bit now, and like, I see the same dudes over and over and over and over mm-hmm. again, and no one's really trying to break in. So I'm really happy to see that there are dudes that are finding it and getting like, ba- like, giving back into the sport that way. Oh yeah. But uh, so when you came back to the sport, like, what did you play beforehand? Do you play scenarios? Were you into tournaments? Uh, we were a huge, like, a uh, scenario-loving uh, group mm-hmm. of guys. Then uh, about a year and a half or so ago, we decided to actually form our own team, Dark Side Misfits. Awesome. And uh, our goal is to honestly get into uh, speedball tournaments, mm-hmm. and we really, really want to do that because I've kind of developed a huge love. It matches my aggressive play style. Yeah. I just like you know one and done because scenarios do get tiring, but right. they. Are are also fun and where you meet more people and get to actually relax and chill and both teams off the field it's not as competitive but i also do have that competitive streak in me <laughs> dude we're very similar because i'm the same way like i like big games because they're fun you go have a good time oh you know i can either load up back up quick and get back out there or like ah, i can I kind of chill by the car if i want to it's not too oh yeah it's not uh not demanding at all if you do it right because i mean i will admit this summer has been pretty brutal and uh when i was in indiana for the fall of berlin event uh i myself almost passed out it, it yeah. was it was brutal heat hit like 100 degrees and even just being out there with the camera was <laughs> it, it yeah, was man. rough it was exhausting yeah man so what's it like being shot at a bunch of times as being the paintball <laughs> photographer come on you're the first photographer <laughs> we really had on this show so. it is uh not fun generally i do go out with uh <laughs> like yellow vest something to be like hey you know i'm not necessarily a player but you still do get shot sometimes in the heat of the battle uh i un- i totally understand it happens like uh-huh. you can't take your camera equipment out and expect it to be fine every time like right. uh today i am not exactly dressed like media <laughs> easy to confuse me for a player that's oh, yeah. my own fault oh yeah and i got shot in the lens for the first time <laughs> today <laughs> uh, my most expensive one but that is also like you know it happens Hazard like the, the guy game. apologized i'm like no dude that was impressive because yeah. he, he got me from a different I was like, damn. <laughs> Big game long ball in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, oh, I also got shot in the, oh, where the sun don't shine today. Too. Oh, so that's that the worst. Happens. That's what I say at the beginning of every game. I'm like, I don't really care what the fuck happens. Like, I don't care if we win this big game. I just don't want to get shot in the dick. That's <laughs> the only thing I want not to happen. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I want to make sure we plug all of your stuff on this. You have a clothing company also. Oh, yes, I do. Uh, Killer Bee Collective, LLC. We are launching October 1st. Right now, we've just been getting the site set up, getting our name out there, getting some stuff designed. And we've got a lot of good feedback from our focus group. So we're really, really excited to get some stuff out to you guys. And I just want to make it clear because a lot of people with how heavy me and the other owner, Rob Oliver, are in with paintball we are not a paintball company that makes clothes we are an apparel company with a vested interest in the sport right right dude and i love that because uh, again i was like i said before you see the same you know you see the same companies in paintball like year after year after year there's no like new companies i'm super glad we teamed up with volcano because they're new you know oh, they yeah. just started this year their bags are like fresh off the gate and we love promoting that kind of stuff and promoting stuff like and people like you man <laughs> <People> <laughs> thank you. Like you i appreciate that and, not, and to add on the volcano bags uh my co-captain for dark side misfits has uh one He's of the bags one? it is freaking awesome super amazing quality and i'm not even sponsored by them you know yeah. so this is like an objective third party right they, they are awesome bags i would definitely i can't wait to get my first one myself yeah make sure you use code overshot you'll save yourself 10 percent off dude hell yeah <laughs> discounts man gotta yeah. love them hell yeah <laughs> but um so like what are your future plans for shooting events so maybe people can look for you at them do you have any plans for things coming up I know like with the vid and everything like there's not a lot of events announced but do you have any plans uh we are going to uh paint wars at yamar uh i next love weekend. that field it's gonna be my first time there i've heard so much good freaking things about it and i absolutely cannot wait uh it's gonna be my first time there in october 2nd or 3rd uh i think it's at grc sorry if i'm wrong but paintball for a cure yeah yeah, uh, yeah. I'm hopefully going to be there as well with my company and we are going to make a line of hats and donate all the proceeds to Paintball Fort Gear. All right, cool, man. We're going to do a little quick switch out. Waldo's going to sit down. I'm going to grab some water. He's got some questions and then we'll get back in here. Yeah, all right. Pop in real quick, man. We didn't need to do that kind of transition. I just had, you know, a couple of things to say here. <laughs> so, um, I know you said you're going to be doing something the, the third. Um, are you free the 10th and 11th? Because like, I'm going to be running a X-Ball tournament. I know you said you wanted to get into speedball, so if you want to come by and shoot the event, um, I don't know if I can help you get teams, but I can definitely let you come. I won't charge you for a media pass, and that's October um, 10th and 11th. Uh, Division 3 on Saturday and Division 4 on Sunday. Uh, the Tri-State Expo League, shameless plug, but got to get it in where I can. So <laughs> if you're free that weekend, dude, come on by to the event and definitely uh, we'll hook you up. You could shoot it and uh, get you some experience with some um, Expo. Yeah, that, that honestly would be really cool. I don't think we have any set... Uh I honestly don't think we have any set plans. So, I mean, dude, lock it in, confirm the date, and, you know, we'll, we'll see you out there. So the other thing I kind of wanted to do, I know you've been starting up this new thing. Um, so it's mainly, so I know you have the media end of it. I know you have the, you know, the T-shirt end of it. Um, what kind of clothing are you guys going to be doing? Are you guys mostly going to be doing T-shirts? Have you looked into doing um, other type of apparel, snapbacks, or anything like that? Oh, yeah, we got a couple snapbacks in the works. We actually just uh, fully completed our first design on one. We're going to hopefully launch with three and we're doing one that's a special edition that only 50 are going to be made oh, nice. and uh also we're going to be transitioning into hoodies like we got all over print stuff as well joggers we're trying to make like full thing we're trying to make supreme look like walmart clothes supreme well i mean dude honestly <laughs> that shit sucks that shit looks like crap um they're overpriced um i don't know man 75 dollars for a headband it's like Sandana, 250 out of headband, that's just all garbage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, we're not going anywhere near that. We want the status, but with the affordability. Gotcha, man. Okay, that's awesome, man. So, I know you're mostly a scenario guy. I know you come out. Um, I know you said you were looking to do some, you know, more speedball and stuff oh, like yeah. that. Um, now, do you guys play any of that MagFed stuff? I know that's a, that's a new hot trend. People like to play MagFed. I was actually looking at doing, they had one here at Cousins, but... Um, you know, Hercules wouldn't give me a deal, so I'm not going to pay $200 for a case of paint and $75 entry when I don't own a MacBook gun, so no, I will not be going. <laughs> But I mean, are you guys are you guys gonna be here for that event, or uh, do you guys do the Magfed? Or uh, honestly, like we do know a lot of Magfed players and respect to them because it is difficult. No, to nothing against go Magfed out. players. I just uh, not, don't want to pay that price. <laughs> yeah, no, that that was actually what I was gonna transition to. It is a lot of money to get invested in, and I say that after I spend like hundreds of dollars on a single speedball gun without right. anything else. But it's just I. I personally am not into it. I, I can't. Uh, I mean, I have an MG, but it's not getting any use. I bought it for my dad, who yeah. recently had some medical stuff, so he oh, can't okay. uh, get out and play. But it, we... 
I would love to shoot a MAGFED event, honestly, because from what I gather, it's a different atmosphere. And like you said, it's a hot trend. It's catching on. It's gaining some real traction, especially in Canada, too. They got a lot of MAGFED-only events. So I know, from what I know, and, and kind of following you and stuff like that, you do a lot of uh, driving, like a lot of driving to scenario events. <laughs> oh, and, yeah. I, and that used to be, my, you know, that used to be my thing or anything like that. Um I don't know if you, I mean, did you, you shout it out in your team name again? I'm sorry. I know it was Akbar Misfits, but you guys changed the name. Yeah. Was that a legal thing? Uh -huh. Like, did someone come and try to sue you or like what happened? No, it was most people, obviously, you know, everyone knows Admiral Akbar if you're a Star Wars fan. But our logo, when we got it, it kind of looked honestly more like Darth Vader with a predator cross. And plus, we did have the one or two people that misinterpreted Akbar. Uh, for you know obvious reasons, <laughs> like, gotcha. but uh, we we just made the decision like hey, let's just avoid anything that can happen in the future. Match our logo, let it flow better. Change it to Dark Side Misfits. Touch man. Okay. No, no, I was just just wondering anything like that. So I know you went out to uh, what was the latest? You went out to like Pittsburgh. Ah uh, yeah, Steel Town uh, Hamburger Hill event. Okay. We played for uh, Lee Williams from Fox's Den. Okay. It was awesome. That's um. Time. That's uh. Oh my god, dude. What's who who runs that thing? Silver uh, Fox, right? Silver yeah, Fox. Yeah, Silver Fox. Tom. From EMR. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I know that dude back in the day. I was actually, you know, quick little side bit. I was actually supposed to end up joining Blues Crew, um, at a certain point in time. Back when they were good, man. I mean, no, no, no disrespect to those guys now, but it ain't the same, dude. <laughs> you know, Blue left and this stuff. They're not the same. No way. It's a bunch of these. Quote unquote redneck hillbillies from Pennsylvania <laughs> that you know they're, they're gonna kiss their cousin type of thing, dude. Nah, but I mean, anyway, dude, Silver Fox was always a baller. His son used to play, his grandson would play. I think he's like a very um, good individual for the sport, actually. He's a very nice guy. Now, does he own Steel Town? Does he uh, own that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he owns it. Yeah, okay, and it was my first time meeting him face to face. My first time meeting him face to face as well. <laughs> yeah, he's a dude, great dude. A you wicked know. nice. That voice is super distinctive. Like you, you hear his voice. Uh, no matter where you on the field, you know that Silver Fox. <laughs> did you ever see? So like Eclipse did a special on Blue from like nah. EMR. Yeah, they did a special about him, and a bunch of the old heads were talking about him because back in the day. Oh, it's no, all right. Well, I heard it's no longer on the Eclipse YouTube channel. So Eclipse. I know you lost a bunch of stuff, but, you know, you got to get back on that. That was a good one. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I feel like I streamed it to my TV. But anyway, so, I mean, have you – so that – Hamburger Hill, Steel Town Paintball. Now, like, what type of field was it? Like, was it mostly woods? Did it have, like, a, a CQB structure? It had a very, actually, healthy blend of uh, woods and, you know, like, CQB structures. It also uh, – because we did uh, Hamburger Hill, so we played on the NBA side – and we had to defend the hill. That hill, honestly, is super steep, but it makes for some hell of a fun time fucking battling. It was uh, running up that hill, getting shot at, sliding down that hill, getting shot at. It was it was a great field, well taken care of, and Tom keeps adding new things all the time. That's awesome. I I, I like I, I didn't even re I knew it was his field, but I haven't been out there yet. So um, we're getting a little bit of background noise here from Jesse in the car, but it's all right. <laughs> we keep it raw. We keep it real. Um, Oh, they're gonna start up the game soon. So we're gonna oh, we're, we're, we're gonna let uh, we're gonna let the killer be here. Wrap wrap it up real quick. I mean, we'll definitely have to have him back on. See what he's doing out there. But I mean, what is? I mean, you guys got sponsors. I mean, I don't I don't. We have I, uh, two sponsors right now because it's honestly my because I'm uh, co-captain of Dark Side. Like we, it's taken a backseat a lot to the photography and my clothing line, but we have Buffalo Paintball as one of our sponsors, and we also have Bearded Buffalo, owned by a awesome dude named Dylan, and if you want absolutely amazing beard oils for your beard, and he also has Tattoo Bomb, guy's awesome, great prices, Bearded Buffalo. Bearded Buffalo, and Ben Buffalo Paintball, so now I, I see here, I, well, I know that they just recently decided they're going to do an event here at Cousins. Now, was that something that you brokered brokered that deal no, or was that I, something that you brought to the table or, or how did that kind of come to fruition because yeah. I hear that Buffalo Paintball is going to be doing an event here at Cousins Paintball yeah they're uh, I think uh, what was it Winter Wars that it's going to be or it's something it's going to be like, like Yeti that. versus Bigfoot which I feel is like a rip off of the two games but anyway <laughs> yeah it uh i mean i've always talked about cousins uh because it like grew up on the island i've been going to cousins since their pro shop was like on 112 <laughs> back in the right, day like right, years back ago in the day, Medford, yeah. and uh i've mentioned it a few times but no i have no involvement with that it was actually a surprise to me because before last week's buffalo show uh andy had mentioned it 
And I'm like, dude, that's awesome. You got to give me an XO spot. So hopefully I will be XOing for one of the sides. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, who's looking to be general? I mean, are they bringing in some, some, some guys or something? Or yeah, they looking... he's, uh, from what I know, he's still uh, looking for generals. I know he said that one general was confirmed, but I don't believe I heard who because I've been so scatterbrained with everything going on lately. I frequently forget details like no, that. No, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> so, so, so the big thing with that, you know, and, and kind of <clears throat> wrapping up things here, um, I've generaled a lot of games. I've XO'd some games. Like, you know, I've gotten MVPs. You know, um, it used to be I was a big LARPer, a big scenario dude. You know, yeah, that's how I found out about you before Dungeons I actually met you. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons, dude. I was big on that. Then, I, you know, I, I like everything, dude. I, I, I like scenario games. I like freaking woods ball tournaments. I like speedball. I like it all, dude. You know, I want to try a MagFit thing, but... I'm not paying seventy dollars for entry and eighty dollars for a case of paint. I'll will buy the eighty dollar case of paint, bro. I'll support the movement, but I'm not I'm not I'm not doing both, and I'm not trying to sound entitled or anything like that, dude. But it's like it's a lot. It's like yeah, no, man. And then you know you want the night vision goggles, that's ninety bucks. You want the fucking helicopter ride, that's two hundred bucks, bro. I'm trying to bring five speedball kids to your fucking Magfit event. Just give me the free entry. We'll buy the six cases of paint and last. I mean, it might not be good for your event because we'll probably mess up a bunch of Magfit dudes, but it's all good. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> so, so with that being said, um, any words of advice or any wisdom that you want to, you know, project out to people, um, you know, either first-time players or or something like this, something that I want to kind of give you, if you're going to be an EXO or a general or anything like that, the main thing, dude, is you got to recruit. You, oh yeah. You got to recruit. Heavy. Recruiting from the get-go, like even if you don't even have the position, you got to recruit right now. So, um, any words of advice you want to give people out there in the paintball world? Uh, can I swear real quick? You can Again? definitely swear. All right, don't be a fucking dick on the field. This is a game. We're trying to grow the sport. If you're new, even if you've been in the sport for 20 years, I mean, I know I'm still really fresh, but just don't be a dick. At the end of the day, we're here to have fun at scenario events and everything, and even during tournaments, it's more competitive, but just don't be a dick. Don't ruin it for people. Grow the sport. All right, guys, and that was uh, Lou Killer B, Killer B Photography, uh, Killer B Collective, so definitely check him out on Facebook. I will tell you that... Me personally, I do not agree with anything that he just said, and I want to win this scenario. <laughs> so we're going to be signing off, guys. Thank you. Definitely check us out. Uh, definitely check out Dizana Sports, Grind Air Gloves, the SF Joggers. We're going to be coming out with our own jogger. So definitely buy those out, and uh, see you guys out next time, man. Shoot you soon. Oh, yeah. Peace. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for coming on, dude. Thanks for coming on, man. Hey, y'all. I love the rest I got.